Five yet another disturbing case involving those so-called bath salts, this time involving some teens in Greenville. Now, of course, we put out the warning about the so-called legal speed just weeks ago here on 2 News. Jordan Burgess is live with why the circumstances in this one are making it tough for police to make an arrest. Jordan? Well, this is certainly a pretty troubling situation. The teens, one as young as 13, were reportedly taking a few pinches of powder bath salts like this and putting them in Mountain Dews. The mix turned out to be an explosive one. The problem is one that is sweeping the nation, and now it's made its way here to the streets of Greenville, where some parents made a startling discovery. And these children are taking this, uh, you know, this substance when it's not meant for human consumption, and they're ingesting it, and the effects, uh, no one knows. More than 11 hours after a weekend house party on East Fourth Street. Parents called for help because their kids were hallucinating. In all, five people, 18 or younger, were taken to area hospitals after apparently drinking Mountain Dew mixed with bath salts. Whether it was uh, given to them freely or whether it was placed into drinks that they consumed, we don't know yet. We're getting conflicting stories. Police are investigating whether an 18 year old girl offered the bath salts to the younger teens. But even if that was the case, Finding something to charge her with won't be easy because the bath salts are legal to buy. The problem comes in when they're used as a drug. Uh, we can't stop them from selling at this point. There's legislation pending. That's why police are putting out the warning to avoid these bath salts. Through education, hopefully we can tell these kids that this is not okay to ingest in your body. It's not meant for that. Now, the sergeant mentioned that legislation. Now, Representative Clayton Luckley has introduced a bill in the Ohio House to make bath salts illegal, but some worry makers will just change the names and the chemical compounds and start selling this stuff again. So this problem doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.